hello guys uh, this is Yunus Abdurrahman Suleiman reporter from Refugee Sport Network today it is my pleasure today to interview one of our guests here so instead of me introducing uh, to you guys I will give him the chance and say who is he and what he do so thank you you're welcome so you uh, may introduce yourself uh, thank you uh, my name is Joshua Suleiman Kafi I'm uh, currently a student uh, doing Bachelor of Art in Sustainable Development. At the same time, I'm working with JWL as a communication uh, coordinator. Uh, I'm also a sport person who uh, always engages in a, a, a sport activity in the community. Thank you, uh, Joshua. You're welcome. And uh, today we'll be mainly speaking about uh, mental health in relation to sport. So Joshua, what do you understand by uh, mental health in relation to sport? Anything that maybe you understand? Uh, actually, uh, thing is, uh, or in my own understanding about the mental health, the mental health is uh, mostly about how you can relieve yourself from stress or from things that affect your mind. Uh, this is all about the mental health. And uh, mental health related to, it, uh, to sport, actually, I can say that... Uh, Mental health, um, the sport itself, it helped the mental health uh, maybe to uh, through maybe engaging in the physical activity, like maybe playing football. Then you can uh, you can be able to uh, free yourself from the stress. You can also help yourself maybe to uh, to improve the mood. Maybe for for example, if your mood was not good. You can play football, then you can improve the mood. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is also it can help the better sleeping. Mm -hmm. When you play football, you have a better sleeping. This helps the, now the mental health of somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for sharing uh, the, the inputs. Uh, my second question is, uh, uh, how do you overcome uh, high stress uh, in your daily activities? Because I understand that you are a student, you are JWL, uh, you're working as a staff in JWL and as well uh, a sport person. Uh, how do you overcome the stresses when you encounter them in these activities? Actually, stress is a part of our, our daily life. Uh, in, our, in my daily routine activity that I do, I know that there is a stress most of the time that happens. But I do manage it uh, through planning of my work. Mm. Because in my work, I have to do a plan for it. So when it's time for work, I give a time for work, then I work on that. When it's time for a sport, I also give time for a sport so that I can be able to refresh my mind and also give flexibility to my body so, so that it cannot get tired of maybe sitting in one place for a long time. Mm. Yeah, thank you also for sharing that. And uh, how do you, uh, what are some of the activities that you normally, uh, of course, do maybe daily? Uh, in order for you to reduce that stress? Uh, some of the activities that I used to do daily so that they can be able to reduce my stress. One of it, like playing football, is also part of it because when I play football, it can be able to make myself as maybe fit or it can also let myself to be exercise uh, to reduce the, the body pain and all those things. And the other way of maybe reducing the stress is like maybe I can listen to music sometimes because music is also part of a way of reducing the stress for myself. Mm. And uh, what can you tell maybe to people so that at least they should cope up with that uh, methodology uh, to reduce the stress? Uh, what my message to the people in a way uh, so that they can be able to reduce the stress is it's better for them to uh, actually... Uh, to interact or to participate in sport activity so that they can be able to interact with other people and they can be able to cope up with the challenges or the stress that they have. Yeah, thank you for sharing your inputs. And uh, do you have anything, the last message that maybe you wanted to share to your fans or to people outside there? My message to the fans is that football is always the best thing to uh, help your body exercise. They have to play it. Yeah, thank you uh, for sharing. And also don't forget uh, to follow us at our uh, Facebook page. That is uh, Refugee Sport Network. And likewise to the YouTube channel. So thank you so much. Thank you.